Hi everyone, in the previous video module, we saw how to use an advanced filter control. In this video module, we will see how to use a slider control. So first let me delete this advanced filter control and let me add a control which is a slider control. So when I insert a slider control, I can choose any of the available fields as my control field. For example, in this case, I will have my profit as the control field. Okay. And this uh, slider control is now visible. What? How, how does it work? It helps us to filter the data displayed in the report uh, to be based on whatever value we are entering here. For example, if I want all my values to be displayed based on loss making sales, then I will change this slider control and keep it to less than zero. So all the values, all these sales are counted, which is a loss making sale. Okay. Here you can see minus 1360 to be the uh, maximum loss which is being made. But here we can see a different value, minus 13,000, 14,000. How is it possible? This is because this filter is applied to the source data and not to the end result. Okay. So the same principle applies here. Like this, you can have any number of sliders for any control field. For example, if age of a person is given in the source data and you are applying a slider control for age, then you can see the sales according to each age group like 18 to 24 24 to 30 so you can play with it as you like okay so that's all for this video about slider control we'll catch up in the next video thank you